Hi everyone, today we are going to start Chapter 9. We are going to learn about transformations. We are specifically going to learn about three different types of transformations. The first one is called a translation. It is also called a slide or a glide. So you will see these words used interchangeably. So I'm just going to take this car right here, and yes, I'm living vicariously through this PowerPoint. This is my dream car. And if I translate it, I am just going to move it straight across. So when we do translations, we're going to take the image and move it to the left or the right, up or down, but we're not going to rotate it or reflect it. The next um, transformation is a reflection, and of course that's a word that you already know. So I'm going to take this butterfly here, and the only thing that's different in the way that you normally use it is that we are going to use a line of reference. So I'm going to reflect this butterfly from this line here. And after the reflection, my new image would look like this. The only thing I want to point out that when we use or do a reflection from this line of reference, that every point will be equal distance to the line of reference. So if I were to take this antenna thing, or whatever it's called, and mark this point here and measure it to my line of reference, if I were to go the, in the opposite direction, then this distance from here to here would be the same amount. If I were to take the tip of this um, wing and measure it to the line of reference, if I were to go in the opposite direction, it would be the exact same distance. And the last one that we're going to look at is a rotation. And if I were to have a trapezoid, and rotate it 90 degrees to the right from this point right here after the rotation. So I've just taken this and rotated it 90 degrees. My new trapezoid would be right here. A couple of other words that we need to establish. Um, the shape before I do a transformation is called a pre-image. After the move, oh, that was my dog, sorry. I don't know if you heard him. Anyway, after the move, it's called an image. And a rigid transformation means that the pre-image and the image are the same shape and size. So this clearly is the same shape and size as this image over here. So this would be called a rigid transformation. Now we are going to look at a translation and dive more into what you're going to see in your homework for 9.1. We're going to take triangle ABC and translate it five units to the left and four units up. We're going to do exactly what it says here. But instead of translating the entire triangle, I'm actually going to take it point by point and follow this rule right here. So looking at point A, I am going to move it to the left five units. So from here I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, and go four units up. One, two, three, four. And that is my new point and I'm going to call it A prime. And then I'm going to take point B and do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and then four units up. One, two, three, four, and that's my new point, and I'm going to call that B prime. And then after doing the exact same thing to point Z, I mean point C, I've moved it five units to the left and four units up, so this is my C prime. And then of course I would connect all these, and then I would have my new triangle, and it is called the image. This is called the pre-image. That's A prime, B prime, C prime. And putting that into the notation that we are going to use in this chapter. So what I'm going to do is take this information here and put it in this notation. And what this T stands for, it stands for translation or that we've translated it. And then this here is saying that for every X coordinate, we are going to go to the left five. And for every Y coordinate, we are going to go in the positive direction, which would be up 
4. So we're going to translate triangle ABC using this rule right here, which would create this new triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So that's again what this notation is saying. Let's just look at one more. We are going to, um, instead of writing down the rule, I'm going to give it to you in the notation. I'm going to translate this trapezoid ABCD and every X coordinate I'm going to move to the left 6 and every Y coordinate I'm going to move up left. So this whole thing is going to shift to the left 6 and up 3 and my new triangle, I mean I'm sorry, my new trapezoid would be right here. So just looking at one point so you can clearly see it, I've moved it 3, 4, 5, 6, up 3 and that gave me A prime and I did that with every single point and this is a perfect example of something that you're going to do in your homework. I'll see you guys soon.